Hey, what's up guys? Tyler here with Secure Team. Now, I wasn't planning on posting a full video until tomorrow, but this news hit and I had to comment on it, uh, as well as a piece of very intriguing UFO footage that I want you guys to see afterwards. But first, let's get to the main topic of today's video, and that is an article. It's been covered by multiple news sources, but we'll go with the main one here, which is the New York Post. That is titled, UFOs Buzzing U.S. Warships May Be a Aliens, says top spy chief. And this was posted November 11th by Henry Holloway. Uh, we have an image here of the director of national intelligence, Avril Haines, as she introduced President Joe Biden during a visit to the office of the director of national intelligence in Virginia on July 27th of this year. And so I wanted to go over this article due to the fact of everything that happened this past year with the ATIP program, the secret Pentagon UFO video leaks, the pilots and the ship and aircraft carrier commanders who admitted that their ships were being swarmed by unknown objects in the middle of the ocean. And the reason this is so relevant is because we basically have here the most senior leader below the president that has now come out to basically confirm that something is going on here. So we'll start with the article. It reads, quote, UFOs buzzing warships and being reported by U.S. pilots could be of alien origin, America's top spy chief has said in a stunning admission. Avril Haines, the director of National Intelligence, or DNI, who oversees all 16 U.S. spy agencies, including the FBI and the CIA, was speaking on the Our Future in Space event at the Washington National Cathedral, which, by the way, I have been to that cathedral, and it is simply stunning on the inside. The article goes on to say, Mrs. Haynes was quizzed about UFOs which have become a serious national security debate in the U.S. after years of being co-signed to the dustbin of conspiracy theories. The stunning UAP task force report, well, I don't really know how stunning it was. We waited a year for it, and it was a seven-page report full of big words that really told us nothing whatsoever, but I digress. The stunning UAP task force report published by the Pentagon over the summer admitted that there have been unexplained encounters between the U.S. military and mystery objects, such as the infamous Tic Tac UFO. And while the report, which analyzed 144 sightings, did not explicitly spell out a possible alien connection, and how could it? We expected that. They're never going to tell us the truth. But once again, I digress. It did not rule it out either, as the mystery continues. Haynes appeared to crack the door open even further for a possible alien link at the event where she spoke alongside NASA Chief Bill Nelson, who, if you guys remember, just a few videos back, I did a full video on his statements about aliens. So if you haven't seen that video, head over to the video section on my channel and give it a watch. It's got his picture in the thumbnail. Also included in the discussion was leading expert Professor Avi Loeb and the world's second richest man, Jeff Bezos. So there's a YouTube video here. You can find it from the article, but we see this woman here who is, she's top echelon. I mean, she is, as of right now, the senior person in the government to come out and hint. And I hate to always use the word hint because they've always been hinting. But the most senior person to come out and say, hey, this isn't a complete hogwash conspiracy theory. So the article goes on to say, quote, During this discussion, she admitted that there remains things about the strange encounters which the intelligence community simply do not understand, highlighting the need for more investigation, obviously. But we know that these things have been investigated for 50, 60 plus years now. So there's some untruth in that statement. The director of national security went on to say, quote, The main issues that Congress and others have been concerned about is safety of flight concerns and counterintelligence issues. Always, there's also the question of, is there something else that we simply do not understand, which might come extraterrestrially? Haynes appeared to be hesitant when mentioning the word extraterrestrially. 
but she has now become the most senior person in the intelligence community to hint at an alien link. The DNI, as she's called, acknowledged that there needs to be better reporting structures put in place so that UFOs, now more commonly called UAPs, which uh, I don't call them UAPs at all, that's a Lou Elizondo thing, that's a Tom DeLonge thing, and I refuse to call them UAPs, they're UFOs. But nonetheless, she gives this typical spiel in the article about how we need to be investigating these things more. And it's the typical fluff that you get because we know that the government has been covering up the alien and UFO phenomena for decade after decade after decade. We've heard from pilots that have contacted me here at Secure Team telling me straight to my face that they have seen these things, recorded them outside of their airplanes, and were then told by their employers not to talk to me anymore or ever bring up the UFO subject again lest they lose their job in the aviation industry. We also know that the government has recovered technology of an off-world nature. Some of that very alien technology of which may be being utilized within government craft that are in operation today. So again, beyond being just another fluff piece, what is important to take away from this, and yes, I know I sound cynical about it, but that's only because I've been doing this for 10 years on YouTube, and I've watched the government toy with us and attempt to throw the UFO community off of the trail and to get us all mixed up and confused, not being able to tell the real from the not. But it was important to post a video about because this woman, Avril Haines, the head of the CIA, the FBI, and 14 other, th she didn't have to come out and mention anything about aliens, but she did. And I give her kudos for doing that. And who knows, maybe she did that as a way to say to the government that, hey, I know what's going on, you know what's going on. It's time that the people find out what's truly going on. So tell me what you guys think about this article down below. I will post the link down in the video description. And one last thing that is very interesting to note is that at the bottom of the article, it states that this woman joked that she would, quote, get fired if she told the forum what is the, quote, coolest thing that the intelligence services are doing in space. I repeat, she said that she would get fired if she told the people the coolest thing that the intel services are doing in space. Very, very interesting. And before we go today, I want to show you an amazing piece of UFO footage that was posted a week or two back. You may have seen it already, but it was posted by the YouTube channel Dragana M. Redzik Novi. And translated, the video is titled observation of the moon and ufo and then in the video description it describes the music used in the video uh, as well as the camera used to take the imagery which is a nikon p900 shot at 1080p 60 frames per second this is a wonderful camera i have the p1000 this thing zooms up so close to the moon's surface that you almost feel like you're orbiting above it like the astronauts did during the apollo missions so I'll play the clip here just, just for a few seconds and we'll see if you guys notice something. So here we go. Alright, did you see it? Well, apparently the cameraman didn't see it either because he goes on for another two and a half minutes showing these just beautiful shots of the moon taken with this camera. But right at the beginning of the footage, and we'll go back here, right at about the seven second mark, coming in at what looks like a very high rate of speed is what appears to be something uh, similar to a circle, although it's so far away we can't tell. But what makes this even more amazing is that the object seems to be casting a shadow, an obvious shadow down on the moon's surface and for a few seconds we get a glimpse of this thing blasting its way across the surface of the moon casting a shadow down below before exiting the view of the moon off to the left of the edge of the lunar horizon line and the camera pans away uh, but as we just go back here and zoom in a little bit this is amazing because the fact that this object, whatever it is, 
The fact that it's casting a shadow down on the lunar surface, that tells us that this is not some balloon floating in Earth's atmosphere being captured in between the camera and the moon. It also tells us that this is not an object out in space, say halfway to the moon, that is being captured floating by. No, when you have something passing an object like the moon and there is a distinct shadow directly beneath it following the object, that means that the object is in a very close proximity to the moon's surface and judging from the zoom on this and still how far away from the surface this camera was able to reach this object would have had to have been massive i mean we are talking miles if not tens of miles in diameter to be able to be seen with such clarity and with uh, such clarity in the shadow being cast by the object so if you've been with me from the beginning, you'll know that lunar anomalies, uh, the moon landings, and the strange objects that were captured above the moon while they were walking on it, while they were orbiting it, that's what got me into ufology and made me start this channel. And so it's footage like this that gives me hope. And it's just one more piece of evidence to the stack of evidence that I've published on this channel that our moon, which by the way is unlike any other moon in our solar system, and you can google this yourself and you can see all the reasons why our moon is so different from every single other moon that we can observe around every other planet in the solar system, but this proves that the moon, if not now, was at once inhabited uh, if not that, that there are potential secret government bases down on the surface of the moon. I've posted videos showing satellite footage and video footage of what appear to be base-like structures down on the moon. The astronauts themselves, when they were orbiting the moon, stated that they saw strange things, heard strange sounds, saw lights down on the moon's surface. I, I could go on and on, but if you just go to my channel and search the term moon, moon anomalies, lunar anomalies, you'll see a ton of videos that I've been posting for the past almost 10 years on this subject. So kudos and all credit to Dragana M. Redzik amazing footage head over to his channel throw him a like give him some love and as always tell me what you guys think this object could be just another ufo captured flying above the lunar surface similar to the many many more that we've captured doing the same thing uh, i will leave you with this the moon is very alive it is not a dead rock floating in space there are structures down on the surface there is activity happening above the surface and on it and i guarantee you as you stare up at the moon at night or look at it through your telescope viewfinder there is almost a 100 percent chance that there is something looking back right at you so I want to thank you guys for watching today's video. Tell me what you think about this New York Post article. I want to thank one of my fans on Instagram. He goes by the name of Juan. But his username is Dominican Heel. He somehow found a picture of me and created some cool little pieces of artwork. Uh, I call this one the Insomnia Army. Uh, we have one here, kind of has a, a Grand Theft Auto vibe to it. Uh, this one, which looks kind of like a genie coming out of a bottle, but still just really cool that someone took the time to do. And he also likes to support Secure Team merch and support the channel, which you guys can do as well by clicking the very first link down in the video description. So there are many different ways to support the channel. And just you being here and watching it and throwing me a like and posting a comment, it truly means the world. So for all of your latest in UFO and alien related news and the continued cover up of it, stick right here with Secure Team. Hit that subscribe button, turn on all notifications, stay tuned, stay safe, and I will see you guys back in just a bit.